Uh, Olivia, remember when we were out there this year? Yes. Your first time, Barrett it was Jackson? Awesome. Wasn't it? Well, so shiny. I know. So cool and so expensive. So expensive. <laughs> so you just bought one of these dream cars from Barrett Jackson earlier this uh, year. Or, or, or maybe already a car enthusiast. Where do you put all those rides? Well, that's a good question. You need a big old garage or some special place. Not just any old garage will do. As you say, it's an extension of the home, right? That's right. I do believe Flooring that. and lighting and the whole bit. Gibby is joining us live in, que in Cave Creek, excuse me, with how the big kids are keeping their toys. So what is a toy barn exactly, Gib? It is whatever you want to make it, Olivia. And you know what? This has nothing to do with just the men. I mentioned a she shed. Let's say you have extra space or you have your book club and you want to hang out with your girls. There's a space for you to set it up. Take like a look that. at the way this guy oh has taken gosh. care of his right here. Look at this. He uses oh his as storage. Gosh. And uh, Jason and Paul joining me here, the creators of the toy barn. First of all, Paul, I, the concept here, because as I mentioned, Olivia said, what is this all about? It's whatever the people make of it, right? Absolutely. Yeah, these are all independent. They come in, they design them the way, way they want to. Uh, the toy barn, we started this first project in 2009. We had a piece of property south of here. Tried to come up with an idea. Uh, this is what we come up with, and uh, it's working very well. Yes. You said something funny to me. You said the guy who created this one said, oh, I'm not going to do much to this one. If this is not much to this one, it shows you where you can go with your ideas, Jason. The best part of this is it's become a community in the sense that you guys are already planning to expand. Well, that's correct. We, uh, we have three locations that are open. We have um, Scottsdale Airport that's available now. We have a second phase of this facility that's just north of here that we're going to break ground on this fall. And same with the Chandler Air Park, another 90,000 square feet that you can reserve space at uh, immediately. All right, as we're taking a look at what you can do with these, uh, the, possibility, the possibilities on this are endless. We were showing you how, how some people can either use it as storage, you can have that in. The best part of this is once you spend your time in a place like this, everyone starts to gather together. So uh, it's not like you came out here and you're by yourself because now this community effort of people coming in, sharing the same interest, a lot of people who are car enthusiasts or maybe you have other interests in mind, Look, take a look at this one. This is the one thing you were telling me is that you can expand to the sides, to the back. You could see how this is totally different from the first one. Yeah, this is a 30 by uh, 50. The other one's a 24 by 50. But what I was telling you, you can expand sideways on these units. You can expand to, to a drive through. So uh, our, our basic units are 24 by 50 and 30 by 50, but you, you can expand either direction. And you own these, it's not like you're renting them. So this is an investment. And Tony, you were one of those who decided to invest and you've done yours a bit different than the gentleman we just saw here. You have your two vehicles, you have a lift, you created restrooms as well. And not to mention a nice little area where you and your friends could just relax. Yes, it, 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 it all worked out well for us here. My wife did help um, and, the, and, and the hobby just, just, just came together for me here. You know, the, the best part is, I had mentioned about the community. Uh, once you came in here, it's not like it's just you by yourself. Others come in, you guys share garage, you share help. Yes, um, met some really great people here from all over the United States. And some of them are my best friends right now. All right, so Olivia, like I said, yes, we saw the cars, we saw the way it's in, so you can make it a man cave Father's Day right around the corner if you want to do that for your man. But you, here's the thing. <laughs> You have a book club. Yes. You have a book club with your girls. Oh, yes. Look at this area. Tell me you cannot see that you build up something like this. You can see a big library oh, man, of shelves Gibby, with your books back language. there. So this yes. is for everyone. So don't be don't be so closed-minded when it comes to a toy barn. When it says toy barn, it's whatever your toys are, whatever you <laughs> yes. want it to be. It's where your oh. spouse is not Tony, and your kids the are not. That's all there that matters. There you go. Now you're in, <laughs> yeah. aren't you? Hey, Gibby, you forgot to drop us one little yes. thing. What's the price of these babies? The price of these babies, well... Let's just say you can afford them and re and own them. You can even rent them if you want once you buy them. So uh, what, what are some of the numbers here? Pricing. Two hundred and ten to two hundred and sixty-five, Scott. And there for we you, go. For you, it's peace, in your back pocket. For peace it's of in mind your back pocket. Tranquility. Case closed. <laughs> <laughs> for a little slice of paradise. Uh, once for again, so that you means you're want. getting me too. Uh, once again, that means we're on the outside. That means you're buying me in. too. That's what that means, Gibby. <laughs> Maybe we could do some kind of shared space. We'll talk about it, Gibby. Yeah.